Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Van Helsing in 2004. Now this film was written and directed by Stephen Sommers, who of course, <coughs> you know, on my channel I've reviewed The Mummy and The Mummy, Mummy Returns, uh, which of course was uh, helmed by him as well. And I love both of, them, both of them films, you know, I absolutely adore, especially The Mummy Returns. Um, you know, I think they're both great actually, really underrated films. And you know, so far, <coughs> you know, the best Mummy films that I've seen, um, really underrated films for me, I absolutely love them, that's my opinion. Now Van Helsing, of course, um, this is the huge album one, um, and yes, basically it's you know it's a homage to the you know an homage to the, to the classic Universal you know classic uh, films you know monsters um, you know it includes uh, you know Dracula in this film of course Van Helsing um, even Frankenstein's monster you know and uh, as well you know you've got Doctor Jekyll Mister Hyde in this film you know just chucked in there at the beginning. Near the beginning, but basically it's set in 1887, I believe. Um, at the beginning, you know, prologue, and um, you know, it's in black and white, and uh, you know, they're building up, you know, all this stuff, and then you see loads of different things happening with, you know, Frankenstein's monster. You know, you see Dracula there, um, and yeah, you know, you see some other things going on there, and the villagers kind of, you know, burning this windmill down, and um, basically, you know, that's probably one of the best parts of the film. But it's still really bad, you know, I was noticing, wow, you know, this film isn't, this is bad, this is a bad film, and um, this film is panned, you know, it's got a 690B, which is still really, really low, um, but you know, critically, even worse so, and um, <clears throat> the box office was, you know, it wasn't a poor performance, but it wasn't, you know, great, great performance uh, compared to its budget, you know, taking that into account. Um, now, I believe, <clears throat> you know, um, I probably, I may be wrong, but, you know, tell me in the comments if you... If I'm wrong, I'll probably check it after I've done this review. Um, didn't really look into it. But, you know, a couple of years ago, actually, I think when I saw the Empire Top 50, you know, worst films of all time, this might have been on it. Um, and I'm not, you know, I can't 100% that. I'm not going to check now. <clears throat> but basically, yeah, I think I did see it on there. Um, and I saw it a couple of times as a kid, actually. You know, I had a bit of an obsession with, um, you know, fantasy stuff and kind of, Werewolves, you know, and um, vampires and all that kind of stuff. And no, when I saw it, I hated Twilight. You know, I didn't, I didn't like everything. You know, but I did, you know, see a couple of, um, you know, the underworld films. Um, you know, when I was younger, and um, yeah, this, you know, I did watch it a couple of times actually. You know, I had it on VHS. I think I got it from the library, and um, yeah, I remember. Don't don't really remember a lot of the film. That's probably, you know, explains, uh, you know, my actual, you know, why I didn't remember it. But yes, you know, I did have a, kind of an obsession, you know, and I like to see and all this. And when I was kind of first allowed to watch uh, most films, you know, um, kind of, you know, it was probably 10. But, you know, when I was eight, you know, I did, I was allowed to watch some violent films. Um, and I did actually, you know, on quiet watch this film, you know, and uh, kind of sneak it. Yeah, you know, basically sneak it. I think uh, we got it from the library and I wasn't allowed to watch it. Um, but I did sneak it upstairs and kind of watch it. Um, and yes, you know, I did, you know, I watched it a couple of times, as I say, you know, and it was um, a film that I did, uh, you know, enjoy some bits of, obviously, you know, and um, yeah, you know, the, the actual bits of Dracula and Finn, obviously, I was was very interested in, and um, yeah, um, it's probably been about oof, at least 10 years since I saw this film, and um, wow, you know, this film... Um, so, I've reviewed, you know, many films on my channel, you know, nearly 200 films, or, you know, something like that, at least 190, um, or something, yeah, roughly that, but, you know, I've, I've reviewed some bad films on my channel, and, um, you know, the two worst are still Barbara and, um, Police Academy 7, you know, they're the worst ones, I've given them a 0%, which is unwatchable minus, and, you know, absolutely some of the very worst films I've ever seen. Apart from them, um... This is the worst film, you know, that I've reviewed on my channel. Um, it's an absolutely unbearable film. Um, absolute trash, you know. This is a disgraceful film, you know, in every single aspect, pretty much. There is a couple of scenes that is, you know, not bad, you know, but really, um, and the production, some of the production design, you know, but um, even Alan Silvestri's, you know, score is, is not awful, but it is quite generic and forgettable. So yeah, that's a rarity, you know, Alan Silvestri, you know, is one of the best, uh, you know, film composers uh, of all time. You know, especially, you know, Back to the Future and Forrest Gump and stuff, but wow, you know, this film, you know, this is absolutely disgraceful. Um, you know, it just, David Wenham, you know, in this film is really atrocious and he was so good in Lord of the Rings, despite what some people say. You know, in my opinion, he was amazing in that, in them films. 
you know, the ones he was in. Uh, Kate Beckinsale, I never cared for her as an actor, actress. You know, but she's in Underworld and, um, you know, I bet they're crap as well when I rewatched them. But, you know, really in this film she gives a really bad performance. Very bland, you know, and just uh, off tone, um, you know, and it's kind of... Hugh Jackman, of course, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad about him. But in this film he is not good, you know, I really love him as an actor. He is a great actor and um, much respect for Hugh Jackman. Um, you know, he's amazing, you know, and especially, you know, as, as Logan. You know, this character, and, you know, he's been great in so many films. Um, other than that, you know, Prisoners, you know, recently as well, fairly recently. Just a great actor, you know, um, really, really amazing actor. You know, I've not really seen any bad performances from him um, until, you know, I rewatched this. Um, because it is bad, and that's just my opinion, you know, I, I just have to say that, you know, it is a bad performance. Um, you know, just awful, and it's mainly as well because of the script, you know. The script to this film is shit. Um, now I would, you know, it's one of the worst scripts I've ever encountered actually in a film. <sighs> yeah, it's really, really bad. And, um, you know, this film, you know, it ties in so many different things, you know, the, the classic universal kind of monster stuff um, of the 30s you know, and 40s mainly. Um, but yes, you know, it, the first thing that's really bizarre is, well, of course, you know, all the performances and everything that happened in the prologue. Um, but it's in black and white, you know, and it's it's kind of um, you know setting up to be a really a really ancient kind of you know really far back flashback, you know, to give it really loads of history to the film and everything. Um, and then it goes, you know, one year later, and um, sort of, sort of a mistake. Um, one year later, you know, it's it's not you know a major flaw or anything, but it is just kind of baffling, you know, because you know they had it in black and white, you know, and everything. I thought it was going to be you know this kind of um, Massive time jump, you know, which would, make, would have made it more interesting, but it's just one year later, you know, so that's already baffling, you know, kind of um, why they kind of made it, you know, that's really, really far back in the past kind of um, flashback kind of thing. Um, and then, you know, you're just greeted with some of the worst exposition I've ever seen, <coughs> setting everything up, and, um, you know, Van Helsing, of course, uh, played by Hugh Jackman, is just atrociously written in this film. You know, as well, it's, it's kind of sidekick Carl, um, who's in the film, played by David Wenham, um, is really, really bad. Um, he's kind of the, com the comedy relief character in this film. The bumbling, kind of annoying character, atrocious, atrocious, you know, no excuse in it. Um, um, he basically, you know, is with him throughout the rest of the film, and he just becomes annoying. Um, they go, you know, to Transylvania, and, you know, they're sent there to kind of see what's going on and everything. And Dracula, of course, <coughs> is still on the loose. And, of course, uh, Dracula in this film is played by Richard Roxborough. <coughs> now, um, you know, I've, I've seen uh, quite a few Dracula films now. And, um, you know, I did. there's a couple, you know, where um, the actual film, you know, of course, is not that great. But the performances that I've seen of Dracula, <coughs> you know, have all been, um, you know, have all been good, really. Um, you know, and uh, especially... You know, Gary Oldman, um, you know, I would say is probably the best performance, you know, um, of Dracula I've seen. Um, and of course, for Christopher Lee, legendary, um, you know, there's so many good ones. But this, you know, is um, really you know, quite bad, actually. Um, really, really too over the top, um, but as well, just not good. Just not likeable, you know, this character, not compelling at all. Through the acting, it's just, it's just really bad acting for the most part. And... Um, the other thing, of course, um, once they get to Transylvania, you know, this this just becomes, you know, one big slog. Um, it's just so, so bad, you know, and I can't really explain without, you know, just saying watch the film. Um, but it's so bad um, from a writing standpoint. You know, you can't even see this film apart from one of these scenes, you know, when they're in the daylight, you know, and basically the way this film is shot is horrendous. Um, you know, I'd have to... I'd have to say it's one of the worst shot films I've ever seen. Um, you know, they think it's, it's going to be gothic and everything, um, obviously, and, and that. Just because you can't see the film, and that's not the case. Um, really, I could barely see most of the scenes. Um, and it was just atrociously lit, you know, and all this sort of stuff. And um, thoroughly depressing experience from start to finish, um, really, this film. It's disgraceful, you know. All these characters are absolutely atrocious. <clears throat> you know, once you get into the fantasy elements, they bring the vampires, bring the werewolves. Um, just horrendous, you know, absolute travesty um, of film, uh, you know, the way they do the vampires when they're flying, <clears throat> all these women that are, you know, the servants basically of Dracula. Um, 
shit. I, I just really, I hate this film. You know, it's absolutely shit, you know, what they do here. It's disgraceful, you know, it's just so... He really mixed, you know, Stephen Summers really mixed in, blended the fantasy elements into the mummy films. Um, but here, you know, it's just, this isn't fantasy, you know, it's the kind of fantasy where, you know, you can't believe anything that's going on. And that's not meant to be like that, you know, and he proved that with his, with his films, you know, and he, the action as well in them films was so good, you know, the energy to it, you know, and everything. The action in this is awful, awful action in this film. It's got no energy, you know, no rhythm. <clears throat> the editing is atrocious um, throughout this film. There's one scene where they're swinging in this kind of theatre, you know, a bit or something, um, and all this ball, you know, this, where they're all dancing and they're swinging on these ropes. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you know, that was um, fine action, but the rest of the film really was just awful action and um, boring, you know, it's a complete ball festival film. <clears throat> you know, I was really struggling to actually. And I never say this, I was struggling to keep awake, um, you know, it was so, you know, it really, <clears throat> it nearly put me to sleep, and that's rare for a film to do that, you know, um, it really has to be special for a film to do that, you know, because I really, I really have a lot of patience as well, um, but this was just one of the most boring experiences I've ever had, um, <clears throat> you know, I'd really like to just say to my younger self, how did you watch this film more than once, um, it just really is beggar's belief, you know, I don't know how I watched this, you know, and actually um, enjoyed some of it, you know, I never loved the film or anything, but I did, you know, it was a film, you know, I obviously got something from, but I don't see how, you know, it's just absolutely awful. Kevin J. J. O'Connor in this film is, is horrendous, you know, in his character that he plays. You know, what they do with Frankenstein's monster is just really sh awful, you know, and um, just so stupid, you know, it's just, I couldn't get invested. And that's the thing, you know, I couldn't get invested in anything that was going on on the screen really at all for most of the film. Um, you know, it's so bad storytelling. Um, you know, I had to, you know, just, I just think, wow, this is just not, this is pretty much unwatchable. And it was unwatchable, you know, until probably the last third of the film where it was merely awful. Um, you know, I think, you know, I was, I actually could not. I couldn't actually watch this film really, you know, in that sense. I was struggling to watch this. Um, it was so boring, depressing, you know, poorly made in, in every way really, apart from some of the production. Um, stretched out action scenes that are just are so, you know, poorly put together. You know, the CGI now, probably consistently the worst CGI, you know, that I've seen in the film, um, maybe ever, you know, from a film that is big, you know, an official release. Um, that's how bad it is. It's absolutely disgraceful CGI, you know, you just, how did they look at this film, you know, and, and go, you know, that, that would be believable, you know, I just don't get it, and uh, yes, you know, Stephen Summers, of course, <clears throat> he made uh, The Mummy Returns, which, of course, you know, it was an amazing film, but the Scorpion scene, you know, Scorpion King scene in that film really was bad CGI, there's no denying that, pretty much everyone can agree on that. So yes, um, in this film it really amps up to, to 11 and um, it's consistent you know, throughout the entire film, just awful CGI, just, just disgraceful. When Dracula changes and everything, um, you know, and the teeth come out of his head, it's just, wow, you know, that is disgraceful. Um, everything, you know. Hugh Jackman, of course, when he changes um, into different things as well, which I won't talk about. Horrendous, you know, and there's wealths in this film, you know, there's vampires, there's all this sort of stuff and they just fail with every single portrayal really. It's absolutely disgraceful, and um, wow, you know, I was, you know, it's so bad. This film, um, I was struggling. I was. This was a chore, you know. This it was torture, you know. This film, uh, it's just such a slog, <clears throat> you know. Nothing um, dynamic in this film really at all. You know, the storytelling was laughable. A two-year-old could have made a better film than this. <clears throat> you know, so unengaging, so uninspired, so dull and flat and lifeless. <clears throat> you know, it just. Um, Makes me ashamed you you're really just sort of watching it, you know, it's just oh, so depressing and really the last five minutes is actually the best part of the film. Well they actually try and do something spiritual. <clears throat> but it, it doesn't go that far at all, but it is you know, an, an okay ending really considered. Um and that's really what makes me say, you know, it's not quite in the single figures, <clears throat> you know, all the things I've discussed, it has got some decent production design in a couple of scenes, at times it is really awful, um, and yeah, it's just, it's not quite on that level now, you know, after seeing the entire film and actually thinking on it, but 10%, that's what I give this film, you know, very, very close to unwatchable overall, most of the film was, you know, in the last third we picked up a little bit, you know, in terms of what was going on on screen, the last five minutes was, it was, you know, not bad, mm. so overall, you know, an awful film, 
and that's my lowest awful, awful rating, uh, 10%. The third worst film I've reviewed on my channel, I believe. Um, so, just an absolute disgrace to cinema. You know, definitely, you know, I definitely see why Empire put it on their 50 worst, if that is the case, if I, am, if I was correct, you know, and just, um, because it really is one of the worst films I've seen, you know. Definitely in the worst, you know, 20 films that I've seen off memory, and uh, that's, you know, that is not, that is really bad, um, you know, there's a disgraceful film, um, all the performances, you know, are actually awful um, in this film. Richard Roxburgh probably gives a better performance than most of the people, but still very, very bad overall, and so campy and unbelievable, you know, the script is absolutely atrocious in this film. The whole bit with, you know, Mr. Hyde, Dr. Chekhov, Mr. Hyde thing, um, that happened very early on as well. What a sidetrack, you know, to define, you know, sidetracking, um, you know, just show that scene, because what did that have, you know, to do with the rest of the film? So pointless, <clears throat> you know, just another case of them trying to fit in another, you know, monster kind of thing. Um, and it was just so boring, this film, you know. If you're going to watch this film, you know, and you've never seen it, um, Really, you know, you'll need some sort of um, caffeine or something because this film will bore you, um, I'm sure. You know, it's fine if you like it, you know, but I really think this is just... I don't get how this film was made and, you know, passed um, because this... You know, the kind of um, Hugh Jackman in being this film, you know, and it's just... You know, some other, you know, really, um, you know, some good talent there, um, you could say. And uh, Stephen Summers, you know, he's just done such a good job with the first two Mummy films. Um, <sighs> you know, this film is, is panned for a reason, you know, I think um, it's an absolute disgrace, <clears throat> you know, the cinema. One of my least favourite films of all time is absolutely disgraceful, you know. If you watch this film, as I say, be warned, um, you really, you know, need something to keep you going through it. Um, and just, you know, uh, uh, that doesn't speak for everyone, you know, of course, but this review, but really, <clears throat> you know, I warn anyone who watches this review that this film, you know, is one of the most boring, lifeless, <clears throat> you know, just... Um, so off tone, you know, inconsistent tone, dull, depressing, you know, flat films, um, some of the worst CGI, you know, you'll ever see probably. For me, you know, off memory of films I've seen in the last two years or so, um, the worst CGI, you know, consistently, it's everywhere, you know, every single thing in this film that is, you know, fantasy or anything, it's just CGI'd so badly, it's laughable really, um, but it gives you a weird effect, you know, that kind of effect, um, just does something you know it's really really you know just off it just seems ugly this film it's disgusting um there's a couple of moments here and there that wasn't bad <clears throat> you know in general some of the costumes i say and a bit of the production design was you know and the end in five minutes but you know really um this film is definitely awful very very close to being unwatchable you know overall most of the film for me was unwatchable and um a couple of times i nearly fell asleep <clears throat> you know i had to struggle to keep my eyes open with this because I actually thought, you know, I'd rather just fall asleep, you know, uh, dream about the film and then be able to review it because I hated every minute of it, really, <laughs> apart from the last five minutes. Um, and it was absolutely unbelievable, this film. Um, I still can't believe it. Um, and, yeah, that's my review of Van Helsing, a piece of something else. You know, I will say, <clears throat> you know, this film, yeah, this film, it's not even a film, I don't think, uh, for the most part. Thanks for watching my review of Stephen Summers' Van Helsing.